really don't know how long I've been doing this shit. I guess 2010 is the first year that you gave a shit. I was the underdog, so please excuse me a bit. I need some space, so someone please make me some room in this bitch. Cause I'm in beast mode, beast mode. Give me those beats, I eat those. All day I don't sleep, no. I don't even know what I got sheets for. Them pillowcases and bed frames, I'll not take that, don't need those. Y'all start rapping in fifth grade. Y'all grew up in Indiana. Um, I run a recess and everything. <laughs> Just rapping around with my friend. Ended up doing a talent show. Everybody thought I was good at it. Just kept on that from then on. Nobody really knew about it. So. Well, let's see how we start. Well, back when I was a little kid, I always liked to be the center of attention. With well, the clubs, sports, activities, everything. So, you know, once I got to high school, by 10th grade, like, I really liked dancing at the time. I'm not really on that dance shit no more. But we started the group, you know, me, Red, and Ivory, and, you know, we just took off from there. Had a lot of opportunities, but then we got dropped. But now, we grinding. We unsigned and grinding, really. Making us to the top. Uh, how I started, it was back in, like, 7th, 8th grade, my homeboy grew up Walter. He had a little studio in his uh, garage and whatnot. We were real cool. He used to make beats on these little fruit loop things all the time. He used to rap. So one day he used to ask me to get on the track. And I was like, man, you know I ain't gonna rap like that. But I just tried it out. And when I did it, I started liking it. So after that, I just kept sticking with it on and off and tried to produce it to be a good thing for me in life to help me get the money. Yeah, well back then, you know, fifth grade and everything, when I started, then it was coming out, and then next year, Air Force One, <laughs> and then Ludacris, Ludacris, he just, he continues to inspire me even to this day. You know, I'm looking up at local artists like Travis Corey and everything, they grew up in the where I'm from. Uh, groups that inspired me back in the day when we first started, the Cash Count, you know, Lil Wayne, Ludacris, everybody grinding really started from scratch. Especially the ones from back from Atlanta, where we from. And nowadays, artists that inspire me or the other artists I see around me, they still haven't made it yet. They grinding, and that's what we doing right now. So I respect that. Uh, back then, who inspired me really? I've been listening to uh, let me see, Wayne, of course, Jeezy, and Ludacris. Really, I was always listening. I had my ears on the bus going to school in the morning, and bumping them. They really inspired me. I didn't keep doing what I was doing, but now. On people really is like still Wayne, of course. I still listen to Jeezy a little bit, but of course artists like Travis Porter, Roscoe Dad, and local artists like people like that who do what I'm trying to do, young and make and making it like that. So that's really keep my head going and my drive to get what I want to get in life. <laughs> you know the funny thing, our rap name is my name. I never went by it, so I used to go by my middle name. I thought it was about my first name, it's a little more unique, it puts a little more character in it and everything. When people ask me what my real name is all the time, it's like, I, that's me. My rap name, it was KD. That was just my initials, really, no special meaning. <laughs> but I changed it, I changed it to Kai That Guy recently, because that's, that's me, that's who I am, that's my real name, is Kai. And like, I don't want it to be no sugar coating around my rap name, like, I just wanted to know my name. And they're going to hear me spit. And they're going to know that's me. How I got my rap name. <clears throat> it was back at MLK in my uh, technology class. And we always took on the computer and played Halo behind Dr. J back. And like, I'll fire at it. So they know when I start playing, to watch out. Every time I shot the gun, they were like, oh, shit, they're going to bam. I'm about to shoot the gun. Bam, 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 bam. Shit like that. It was super good shit. But that's how I really got my name. They just started teams. I called you bam every time you play Halo. So I just stuck with that and kept it going. As I said, I grew up in Indiana and moved to Atlanta when I was in seventh grade. That's when I met Kai. I still had my braids. He had his braids. I met him because everybody thought I was him. And, <laughs> and then, you know, I left with Cedar Grove. The next year, ninth grade, came back to Drew Hills. And then I was there. He made the group and everything. I joined there with it. Kept switching schools. Ended up at MLK. And I met Bam. <laughs> I never thought he would have been a rapper. But he surprised me, man. He surprised me. 
back in middle school, about seventh grade, I think, one of my homeboys came up to me and said, "Is this dude is just start going here look just like you?" I'm like, "What? Nobody look like me." And so I seen him. We go ahead, cornrows and everything. And I laughed. He ain't look nothing like me really. But I said, "What's up to him?" You know, we just became the best of friends, really. And so, you know, when we got high school, that's when we decided to start a group and everything. Turned out it was a good choice. You know, the combo, different rap styles, different styles, different personalities, everything just come together for a super group. And that's what it is. Well, I met Bam at Albany State. You know, shout out to Albany State, what's up? But anyway, like, I was on the step team at Albany State, and he told me he went to MLK, and I know that's where Ivory went. So I was like, you know what doing that, Ivory? He was like, yeah, big head. He was like, yeah, that's him. But anyway, like, I didn't know he rapped. But then when he told me, I finally got to listen to him spit, and he go off. Man, I'm something to fuck with. I fuck with this nigga the long way. He got the same drive we got, and I respect that. Any artist that got the same drive we got, I respect that. Much love to all y'all artists out there. I met Kai and Ivory. Uh, I met Ivory back in MLK in Ms. Woods class, in 12th grade, our English class. And we just started kicking it since then, and they being cool. And when I came to Albany State, I had made a little step team and whatnot, and I met Kai. And I told him what school I went to, and he said, I know Ivory. Like, yeah, I know Ivory, big ass head, skin dress and shit. So after that, we said, Ivory came out and all they clicked up and whatnot, and we said, cool, ever since then, but when we got to do started making the game. That's it. We making a little documentary right now, so it's summertime. We coming out with this mixtape. We working on a whole bunch of new hits we got for y'all. Some stuff for in the band, little slow down for the ladies. Now we got club music, everything, twerk songs. Right now we got uh, Swain Smooth in there working on the beat for us. Just making a little documentary video. Let everybody know what we really doing. Nowadays, nothing really changed. We still grinding. We still unsigned. We're making this meat tape for the summer. It's gonna go off. We still contemplate what we're gonna name it. I don't really know right now, but, you know, pretty much grinding. Passing our CDs, you know, chasing paper. Same, same shit we do all the time, really. And you're gonna hear our name pretty soon, so be on the lookout. What I'm doing now, I'm trying to finish this meat tape class nine session. Uh, doing a couple of songs, featuring down there, boy, kind of. I'm trying to get other people on the track like that right now. Sway's not making beats for the music for us, stuff like that. They're really out here grinding like everybody else trying to do, get to the money, like all these other artists like that. Just doing what you gotta do to stay focused and make it out there. Doing you trying to do these shows. August 20th, we got a show. Down there, the boys, Charles Porter, other artists coming out. Be sure to be there. Uh, first live show I ever did, so right now I'm just trying to get my grind on, staying focused. That's it. Bro, I'm recording, bro. It's on. Shit, we going through. Look at these shit. We cujo ass. Shit, crazy. Damn, big ass rock ballers and shit.
about your life, they gonna hate, really. That's that's what a hater is to me. Like, I don't think about them. I don't think twice about them. If you hate and just get in line, it ain't nothing to me. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. I'm gonna keep doing what I do. For these haters, shout out to my haters, man. You mean y'all, they gonna be there regardless of wherever you go. You gonna have them. They wanna be in your place, they want you doing they just mad cause you doing what they wanna do and they at home doing nothing with their lives, you know? Niggas gonna have regardless, they just jealous of what you got and what you trying to do. So, I ain't even worried about them. They actually inspired me to keep going. So, I love all y'all haters. Keep hating them, please. I need your support. That's it. Uh, they're going ham. That's it. 